The Infinix Hot 20 series comes with a huge name jump from its predecessor, which was the Hot 12 series. Instead of having a Hot 13, Infinix thought it was wise to jump to a bold number. Hey guys, first take up here, and this is the all new Infinix Hot 20i, a new addition to the Hot series. In this video, I'm going to unbox it and share my opinion with you guys. For the unboxing experience, the Hot 20i comes with the most basic accessories as you would expect from an entry level device from Infinix. The box contains the device that is wrapped in plastic, which carries basic highlights of the phone. Next is the MTN voucher card, a SIM card ejector tool, Infinix X pack leaflet, X Club Dollar Lookalike registration card, a hard plastic case which actually fits the device perfectly, even though it doesn't offer full protection because of the open areas that we have here so i would advise you to get a good case for your brand new phone moving on we have a 10 watt charger the earpiece and a micro usb charging cable it still amazes me that in today's standard a brand like infinix is still shipping a phone with a micro usb charging port why moving on to design and build quality the wilderness black color hold on a second what wilderness black <sighs> the guys at infinix that named this device must be high on something. <laughs> that aside, I love the subtle design elements on the rear of this device. It looks beautiful. The camera bomb has this reflection thing going on that reflects according to how light hits it. Beauty, they say, is in the eyes of beholders. So you tell me what you think about this design in the comment section below. The Hot 20i is made of plastic and for a low-end device, it feels nice and compact. It doesn't feel too big or uncomfortable to hold. Most low-end devices are made from plastic so it can last long and the Hot 20i here is not an exception. On the right side of the device, we've got the power button and the volume rocker keys. To the left, we've got a SIM card tray that can take dual nano SIM and a micro SD card. At the bottom, we've got a headphone jack, a microphone, a USB charging port, and the speaker grill, as you can see here. Moving on to the rear of the device, we have a triple camera setup that comprises a 13 megapixel spine sensor, a 2 megapixel depth sensor, and a QVGA camera for low light detection. To be frank with you guys, those extra two sensors don't really count that much. What really matters is the 13 megapixel main sensor which we are going to talk about later in the video. Moving on to the front of the device, we have a 6.6 inch 720p display. It's a teardrop style that houses an 8 megapixel selfie camera. The front of the device also houses a dual LED flashlight for selfies. Speaking of the display, the Hot 20i comes with a large 6.6 inches HD Plus display. These days, you hardly see a 1080p display at this price point. That being said, it's a 720p by 1612 resolution with a pixel density of 267. Keeping those technical jargons aside, the display is bright with good contrast. Watching YouTube video is fine and at this price point, the display is okay. The slight downside to this display is the brightness level which is below 500 nits. It struggles a lot in direct sunlight which might be a thing of concern to some people. I know at this price point, you don't expect to have the greatest but generally the display is okay. On the performance aspect, the Infinix for 20i comes with a MediaTek Helio. G25 octa-core CPU. It is still a capable low-end CPU that can handle your basic tasks with ease. It doesn't have impressive benchmark scores, but it is fine for day-to-day -day tasks. This is not a device you want to buy if gaming is your main concern. However, it can play most 2D games effectively. Games like Subway Surfers, Temple Run 2, and other 2D games. Performance is not its strong fit. With 4 gigs of RAM, 64 gigabytes of storage, and Helio G25 processor, you're going to notice some hiccups here and there. Opening apps is fine, web browsing and multitasking is fine. With the help of the extra RAM or memory fusion, which adds extra 3GB of RAM to the main memory, the Hot 20i was able to retain more background apps while still running slightly smoother. Android 12 is what comes with the Hot 20i, but with a custom software which is Infinix XOS 10.6. Guys, forget Android 13 because this won't get an upgrade to that. Bluetooth is still present, but it is not as intrusive as it used to be in the past. You might want to do a little bit of housekeeping by uninstalling some of the unwanted apps for a much better experience. Now, let's move on to the camera, the 13 megapixels camera that graces the back of this device. The Hot 20i takes decent looking images, especially when the lighting condition is good. Image taken on a sunny day appears bright with nice colors and dynamic range is okay for a device in its class. It has details and I love how saturated most of the images appear. It is not mind blowing. Of course, this is not a phone you want to buy if camera is your main concern. Portrait shots looks okay as well, but not the best that I've seen. 
from a mid-range or an entry-level device. The selfie camera is also decent but dynamic range suffers a little bit with blown up backgrounds. However, I like how the 8 megapixel still manages to retain some details and I also like the color reproduction. Kindly go through the images and tell me what you think about it in the comment section below. It shoots video in 1080p resolution and it is okay. Hey guys, so this is the front facing camera of the Infinix for 20i. Mm, shooting in 1080p 30 frames per second. What do you guys think about the video quality and the audio quality? Kindly let me know in the comment section below. One of the reasons you should consider this device has to be the 5000 mAh battery on here that is very reliable and decent. It can comfortably last the entire day if you are an average user. However, there's a catch. The 10 watt charger that comes with it took more than 3 hours to charge this device from 0 to 100%. I guess most people buying this device do not care that much about charging time. So if you fall within that category of people, this might be the perfect device for you. At 89,000 Naira or about $125 for the variant that I have here, the most selling point of the Hot 20 High has to be the 4GB of RAM that can be expanded to 7GB through memory fusion technology. A slick design if you care about that and a 5000mAh battery. So in conclusion, the Hot 20 i is a budget device that can handle most basic tasks efficiently and I will highly recommend it. If you enjoyed watching this video, give me a like and subscribe to the channel. Thank you so much for watching and I'll talk to you in the very next one.